Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Let's go to the Chiefs beat the Bengals as ah well. hell what? nah hell hell nah hell nah nah ain't no ain't no Chiefs beat no Bengals ain't nah, no let's put an asterisk by that and let's say the refs, no let's let's say the refs help too let's say the let's say the refs help too how about that Chiefs beat the Bengals Chiefs beat the Bengals 26-25. three turnovers wasn't enough to ruin Kansas City at home they maintained their poise still managed to put together a balanced attack. They ran the ball for a buck 49. Isaiah Pacheco led the way with 90 yards on 20 carries. Patrick Mahomes only had 151 yards passing. Plus, he turned the ball over twice. The Chiefs needed a P.I. late to win by one. Uh, since the Bengals drafted Joe Burrow in 2020, they played the Chiefs six times, and each team has won three, and the average margin of victory is 3.5 points. Yeah. Taking out the Browning game, that the drops the 2.6. In fact, Patrick Mahomes and Burrow – is the first starting quarterback matchup since 1950 with five straight matchups decided by three or fewer points. Yeah. Hey, that goddamn game was good, boy. That goddamn game was good. Did you watch the on? Mm -hmm. Listen, Chad, if you if you saw the Bengal Chiefs game, it was good. Listen, we had about five lead lead changes within the game. The goddamn Bengals team I saw today, as opposed to what I saw when they played the Patriots last week, was night and day. It was it yeah. was night and day. It was it was it was night and day. So I'm happy. What I took from it, even though we lost the game, because of you know it was a PI. I'm gonna say that, chat. I'm gonna say it. At the end of the game, that was a pass interference. You can't take that. <laughs> okay, okay. You can't, yeah. I thought you said it wasn't a no, PI. It was. It, it was. was, it, was, a was PI. it was. I know a lot of not. I know a lot of Bengal fans are upset, but as a receiver, and as a former DB, that was pass interference. In, in yeah. that case, you have to do everything you can to not make contact with the receiver and just get Before around and do whatever you can to swipe the hands. But it, yeah. it was past interference. Even though we were upset, it's unfortunate that it always comes. And when it, when it comes to the Bengals, in the Super Bowl, on Logan Wilson, on Cooper Cup, on that fourth down, always at the end of the game when it matters most, mm -hmm. a flag is always thrown when it comes to us for some reason. Offensively, we look good. Yoshi, hell of a game today. I want them to get Jamar Chase a little bit, a little bit more involved in the game. I want them to get Jamar Chase a little bit more involved in the game. Chase, you got to keep it cool, baby. Chase, you got oh, to Chase, Chase, you got to keep it cool like that, baby. What was he upset about? That wasn't a face mask. He had his shoulder yeah, pad. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. I'm not sure what he was upset about, <laughs> but he was upset. And that's my first time. Oh, that, he thought it was a hip. Hey, oh, he he said, uh, Ash said he thought it was a hip drop. Oh, now nah, it wasn't a hip drop because he just he had him by the shoulder pad. That's it. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I don't think I don't think Chase understood that. Right. You know, so I, I understand when he watches it back and he actually sees it and in and, and real time, he'll understand, you know what? My bad. And other than that, the frustration is also building up on him not as being as, as productive as as he like as well, huh? That's not forget the hip drop. You're not getting the catches and the balls you need and deserve. Because I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna try to do, huh? Let me tell you what they're gonna try to do. They're gonna try to play with you. Not yeah. only, not only are you not getting the production that you used to. When it comes time to get paid, you know what they're gonna say? You ain't got the same numbers. Man. <laughs> I know what they're gonna say. Hell, I've been there. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the game that they're gonna play now. I'm telling you. Yeah. And I and I'm like, I, I ain't I, got listen, the same targets. I can, I can see I can see it already. I already know what they're gonna do. Oh, well, you know what? We don't think you deserve this because if you look at your numbers, it ain't the same as it was, you know, in the previous two years. So we don't really think you should be making top, man. Shh, man, listen. Boy, hey, Unc, it's a dirty business. Chat, it's a dirty business. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you, I'm, man. But even even but even in that situation, Ocho. Yes, sir. Oh, you 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 got you you got a hold, you got you got a hold tight. Yeah, you hold Ocho, time. you gotta bite your you tongue on that one. Especially man, you know how many times late in the ball game somebody done done some cheap ish. Yeah. And you like, oh I'm hey, all up, I'm gonna get you. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get you. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make it look like a play, but I'm gonna get your ass. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna get you. Yeah. 
<laughs> he, 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 we, hey, we, hey, I'm gonna get you like you like you at elementary or junior. High. I'm gonna get right. you. He he was frustrated. Yeah. He was he was frustrated though. Yeah. Obviously, I think off, offensively, what they also allowed what they allowed the Chiefs to do is they allowed the Chiefs to dictate where the ball went. Yeah, oh, they, they allowed the Chiefs to dictate where the ball went instead of putting Chase in positions to make plays. Now the plays he did make, it was a hot. You know, some of the, it was yeah. about three or four plays. They're, they're, they're not, yeah, I can live with that. There ain't no impact plays. There ain't nothing splash. Exactly. As long as 13. Exactly. I can live with that. Right. Long as there ain't no 30, 40, no broken tackles. Right. We know Chase. Yeah. We've seen him catch a routine route bye bye. and take it to the high. Bye bye. We've seen him out, out high point somebody mm -hmm. and get going. Yeah. If I can live with four for 35, and all I'm saying is, I don't believe these other receivers, I don't believe they can make enough plays to beat me. I know one can. Mm -hmm. He can single-handedly beat yeah. me. These other guys collectively, no, they can't. No, they can't. They can't make a, they can't make enough plays consistently, right. Ocho. So I'm gonna double him. So if Gisecki and Burton mm -hmm. and uh all junior sample er, er, ball, Irwin if all those guys yeah. and listen, no, I I know I, I hear what you're saying, but we have we have very, 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 very good depth at the receiver position. Now we might not yeah, be able to beat you, but I think we can make enough plays consistently to be in the game. And that's what you saw today. There's you no, the there's, game. Listen, there's no reason for Mahomes to have three tone or three turnovers, and we to lose this game. Bad turnovers too. I'm talking about bad. That, well, oh, hey, that goddamn Cam, uh, Cam Taylor Britt interception. Oh no, that was one. Hey, hey, yeah. That was beautiful, boy. That, that, oh, that yeah. was beautiful, boy. But worthy. I mean, I just want you to. I, I just want to know one thing, worthy. Where did you think it was? You thought it was Christmas and Santa Claus was going to come down the chimney. Because that was the only way you could throw the ball. Because what you have to do, Worthy, is that you got to stack him. Oh, you can't let him. You can't let him be on your hip ride. because he's going to ride it's you to the sideline, side and it's going to have to be a perfect throw. Yeah. No, is that with that speed? Once you once you get even with him, now you got to stack him. You got to put him in a trail position. Right. Can I say something? Go ahead. For people in the chat. For people in the chat. <laughs> obviously, you know, Worthy is, is the fastest receiver, fastest receiver in the league. Obviously, having the fastest NFL time of NFL time, combine time of all time. 4 2 and 4 3, I don't think people understand how close that is. Yeah. I'm talking about in, in real time when two individuals like. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is 4 2 and this is 4 3. Like it, it, it's right there. So you 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 in arm you in arms length and arms reach. It ain't like this huge gap. I think people people fail to realize that and and and, and have this perception that if you run four two or you just that much faster than everybody else. Hell, all the skill positions out there run four three, huh? Mm -hmm. So from a technical standpoint, if you have if you four two and I'm four three, and I make you bow all the way around, and you ain't making no move. Oh, I'm uh, no, no, all yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do is just yeah. cut you off to the to the point I'm, and ride you to the, the sideline. You hey, you go hey, I'll make you run the loop, and I'm just gonna and that's it. I'm gonna intercept you that, right that, at the point because yeah. I know the ball got where the ball got to be. Exactly. The ball got to be somewhere between forty and forty four yards, exactly. and two to four yards from the sideline. Every line. time I know that every time the ball comes out at the same time, it's gonna hit at the same spot every single time. So you got, every listen, single time you got the win in the phone booth, right at the snap of the ball. You got the win there. All that trying people to think, go around people. It, it, it's nah, not you, ain't gonna, you ain't finna run the loop. You're not finna run, first of all, you're not finna just run the loop and be the four four or four five oh, guy. Because he's gonna he knows he's gonna intercept you. The angle. Look at Rebus. Yeah. Rebus ain't run no four no, four. No, 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 no. Hey, he was so he was so technically sound though. And his his um not not ball well not ball control his ball skills oh yeah were elite once you get to a certain point he get his eyes back he got that arm bar right at your hip so he can feel we at man listen and he gonna ride you to the sideline right he's side long, side line if you look at, if you look at the way Rebus was built yeah. he's long arm mm -hmm. so in other words his let and most most athletes black athletes potentially <laughs> have longer have longer legs right. and shorter torso yes, sir. He arm are extremely long. Yes, sir. So when you look at him, if you go look at pictures of Rebus mm -hmm. and look how for a guy his size, yeah. look how long his arms are. Yep. And if you notice something about Rebus, he never went for the first move. Oh man, listen, Re hey chat, <laughs> let me let me tell y'all something, boy. He said right. Let me tell, hey chat, listen to me, Rebus 
had the patience of Sally May. <laughs> so I, I, I bullshit you not. Revis had the patience of Sally May. There was one receiver, one receiver when Revis was in his prime that was able to get him on a consistent basis, and that was Stevie Goddamn Johnson. I'm serious. Yeah. Stevie Johnson. Like a big receiver? A big receiver was always going to have problems oh, with yeah. him. You needed to have quick... See, I'm surprised you didn't have more success, but I think because you weren't as physical as you needed. No, 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 but not at all. If you did, if a big receiver that don't have quick twitch, right. he gonna oh, eat you, you done. up. You done. You he gonna eat you done up. Done every time. <laughs> he go he go eat you up. But here's the thing, Ocho. People look at it and they think it's just speed no. that makes Tyreek so good. No. Tyreek has learned how to run the route tree. If worthy. If they, if the Kansas City Chiefs want to maximize what work, Xavier Worthy can be, right. he's going to have to run slant routes. He's going to have to run out routes. He's going to have to run unders. He's going to have to run dig. Yeah. He's going to have to run comebacks because everybody knows they don't. First of all, it's a lot. It takes a lot to slow that speed down on yeah. the show. Hold on, that's the whole thing. I'm glad you just said that. I'm glad you just said that because Worthy doesn't even have to run full speed. They already scared him anyway. All you got to do is exaggerate, exaggerate your running motion under control. Because once you come off the ball, yep. they get the F up out of there anyway. Learn yep. how to set up the slant. Learn how to set up the dig. Learn how to run the curl. Give the illusion that you're running fast when you're really not. So it's easy to right. transition. Yes. Man, come on, huh? Wait, I got. You, you got to tell me. I, oh, I, I, got I mean, I I wish I could. Get, I wish I could like sit down and talk to him. It's like, okay, yeah. tell me what you're thinking. You got okay. You got this route. Yes, tell me what you're thinking. Yeah. Based on how you can. Okay, look at outside. He head up. He inside. What? How? How you gonna process it when you come out the huddle? How you gonna run it? What are you thinking? Yeah. Now, also, with your alignment and this steel, yeah. what else can you run? Mm -hmm. Cause you gotta be able to play. You gotta be able to play with your splits. Yes, because if you line up with the same them DB, oh they know they know they what you're study doing. film too. They know what you're doing. <laughs> they done study film. So if the ball in the left has and you two yards on the outside of the number, hell, it's only two or three things you finna do. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I know. So you're gonna have to play yeah. with your splits. I mean, and they're gonna be watching. If all of a sudden you're on the right side, if you normally like most people, a lot of a lot of teams. Like when we were like growing up, if you was on the left side over here, you put your left foot back. Right. You on the right side, you put your right uh -huh. foot back. Okay. Now, when we run that bang, we want the inside leg up. Yeah, it got to be seven steps. Oh, but hold on. Steps. You don't normally do that. Right. Hey, watch that glance. Watch that bang route. Because <laughs> I, I see your line. Calling it out. That ain't what you normally do. Calling it out, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he like, oh, Sharp, you ain't, you're finna, you're finna run, run around. Mm -hmm. Cause you ain't got no pressure on that hand. Right. Damn. <laughs> you right. <laughs> hey, I told you. you I, hey, I told you Ocho, to... I'm sitting, Ocho, I'm sitting light. Yeah. I told you how the DB, how the, uh, the veteran DBs, I never forget, Aaron Glenn. Aaron Glenn told me, hey, boy, <laughs> I know every time you finna get the ball cause you come to the line of scrimmage and you do your gloves like this. You pull them tight pull and, them you, good, and, yep. you, and you restrap them. I'm studying everything. And every time he was right. But he told mm -hmm. AG told me after the game, I know when the ball come at 85. You tighten your gloves, you do like this when you come to the line of scrimmage and you restrap uh -huh. every time. Don't yep. give him no keys. I said, God yep. damn. Yes. You pick we you watched watch it, all we watched it everything. Yep. Because a lot a lot of times, a lot just like anything else. I mean, you have a dominant leg that you want to push off yeah. of. Yeah. So do D Lima. They have a dominant leg. They want to push up of. So if I all of a sudden, if you even more times than not, if you even okay, you gonna drop in coverage or you play in the run. But if you stagger that stance, right. oh, you're trying to get off the rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's the thing with Worthy. If that's what, if I can share any information to him, you're gonna have to start. You're gonna have to do something other than go yeah. deep. You're gonna have to learn. Okay, off this stem, I can also run X, Y, and Z. I just don't have to run the go route. And you have to play with it because, I mean, you line up tight to the numbers. You ain't running no damn go from there. Right. <laughs> It'll take you all day. So, I think he's going to be good, though. He's going to be good. I, you, yeah, you know, you know I how mean, Andy Reid is, how creative he is when it comes to using players, you know, especially to their strengths. But yep. when Worthy can, whatever his weaknesses are, 
once he can make take those weaknesses and make them, they don't need to be his strengths, but make them good, then he be, becomes that much more valuable. And the playbook for him opens up exponentially. That's a big, that's I would a big go, word. You know what I would do, Ocho? Uh -huh. I would go to the film department. Yeah. I say, go give me every tape you got uh -huh. on Tyreek Hill. Every, every catch. Every, that's yeah. Every every practice tape, every game, every game tape, right. I'm going to study mm -hmm. Tyreek Hill. Yeah. When I got into this business, Ocho, and I knew I was going to be interviewing people, right. I asked Eric Mann, the guy that I love, that I love his interviewing style, and I'm nothing like because he trained in there, right. was Ed Bradley. I said, give me every interview Ed Bradley did at 60 Minutes. They got me about 40 hours Damn. of interviews of Ed Bradley. Yeah. I love Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer's interview style. Mm -hmm. I studied him. Go study people, Xavier Worthy. The comparable to you with speed wise is Tyreek. He played in that system. Yeah. You're going to be running a lot of the same routes, yeah, the same system, yeah. the same coach that drafted Tyreek drafted you the same way. And Tyreek came in as kind of like a gadget guy. Mm -hmm. He was like to come in and give him, give him, he had a package. He kick returner, punt returner, but they had a package of plays yeah. for him because he's too, he had too much speed not to try to get the football in his mm -hmm. hands. But he taught himself how to run the tree. Now he's going to run his way all the way to Canton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying Xavier Worthy can do that, but I believe he can be a very, very valuable car. Mm -hmm. That's the guy I'm studying. Mm -hmm. That's the guy I'm watching. That's what you do, Ocho. I mean, I've watched tape of uh, uh, Todd Christensen, Ozzie Newsom and Kellen Winslow. Mm -hmm. Those were the guys that I watched. I didn't study anybody else because their skill set didn't fit what I did. Their skill set. Right. Kellen, Big Kellen, Ozzy, and Todd Christensen. Their skill set fit my skill set. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm like them. Uh, Ozzy was a wide receiver. Kellen played uh, uh, was a tight end. Todd was a wide receiver at BYU. Yeah. I said, okay, that's what I need to study. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to do. That's, that's what I offer. That's the advice. I would offer Xavier Worthy. But I say this one more time, Ocho. Mm -hmm. The Bengals need to be careful. What happened? Because if you notice, they always talk about we're beat to beat that team. What happens when you don't come up against that team in the playoffs? Then what? You know how they say somebody, oh, we built to beat X, Y, X team, right. Ocho? Right. But what if you come up against W? <laughs> you know, I, we, And you don't see X. We, we'll probably win. I think you know what I think okay. it is from from a, from a personnel standpoint. I don't know what it is about why we play so well against the Chiefs despite the, despite the turnovers. If we could have got more points out of out of those three turnovers, I think we could have actually not blew them out. I don't want to use the word blowout because y'all play cup y'all coverage because y'all can get pressure with your four yeah. and you drop seven in coverage. Mm -hmm. I watched the they ended up benching the left tackle. Because he was so bad. You see, this is what I'm talking about, Ocho. This is what I'm talking about with football. But the Chiefs left tackle? Okay. Chief left tackle, number 76. I saw, I saw, I I saw him complaining, that. too. You saw when uh, the, the, the person that re, um The guy that him. caught the touchdown pass replaced him. Got hands to the face, yeah. yeah. And then he on the sideline talking about, see, y'all just took me out of the game. Now look. Yeah, they, they took you out of the game because you about to get Patrick Mah uh, Mahomes' head beat in. Ocho. <laughs> yeah. This is what I know. When you're helping, when when the left tackle, right tackle, they're always going to ask, Sharpie, what are you doing? Garrett Zimmerman never wanted me to, he didn't want me to touch the guy. Right. Because he said, Sharp, I'm going to set a certain way. He called me Sharpie. He said, Sharpie, I'm going to set a certain way. If you hit him, I might overset him and then you push him inside. Right. Or I might expect some. So he didn't want me to touch him. Yeah. He was, the, he was one of the few people, one of the tackles I played with, he, didn't want, he did not want you to chip. He's sitting a certain way. Right. But a lot of guys, I was like, okay, I got you here. I got you. I got you outside. Right. Which means you can sit as heavy as you want to inside, inside yeah. because I got you protected on the outside. Pacheco is coming to chip on his outside. Mm. He oversets him to the outside and Hendricks goes inside yeah. and sacks him home. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I'm like, bro. I'm talking, I just, I said, I mean, I just want to know what your report cards say. Did you get an S or U? Was it satisfactory or unsatisfactory? Because I, I'm, I'm confused right now. With I mean, he got, he, he got, he got, you he got, know, the back, the back is coming. I know they told him because you look at Pacheco, he checks, he goes wide. He's going to chip it. Yeah. If he comes up the field, 
Pacheco's going to chip him back onto the tower. Right. Just don't just don't overset outside and give him a free route. Mm-hmm. Because guess what? Hendrickson sees like, oh, hook him Pacheco. Oh, you said why? Oh, I'm going inside. Right away. Right away. That's what I'm saying, guys, with, with IQ. Know where you help. Hey, I'm asking, hey, what y'all doing? Because I needed to know. Because sometimes the tackle had to step down mm-hmm. to secure the gap with the guard. I needed to know that because now that's going to impact my stance. Do I sit? Do I take a hard step inside or can I sit outside? Hey, Zelma, my bow. Hey, they go let me know. Mm-hmm. They tell him we say Gilligan. That means Shannon, you on an island. Yeah, you by yourself. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, okay. You're on your own. Ocho, now I got now. This is why I've been lifting, but I got I got to use these muscles <laughs> on him now, Ocho. I got I got to use these mus- yeah. muscles on him. So what I'm gonna do? I'm a quick set him because he's not anticipating me being there. Right. So once I quick set him and I get I get locked in, yeah. Ocho, he ain't going. Are you trying to beat him to the punch? I beat him to the punch. Yeah. Because he's not anticipating me pass blocking. I mean, you see me, oh, I know you going out for a round. Mm-hmm. So you just go, you just gonna do your thing because you think you got the tackle. Right. Bam. I'm right there. But just uh, guys, just understand mm-hmm. where your help is. That'll eliminate a lot of the problems. Just understanding where your help is, where you're vulnerable. You're not going to beat me where my strength is. I got outside. I'm sitting outside. I'm sitting heavy outside. You, you know what? I, I think a lot of a lot of players, a lot of teams, are still gelling. You can practice all you want. You know, we, you and I have said it all the time. You can practice over and over and over, but once you get into a game, it's different. Sometimes you forget things, things that you don't naturally do in practice. You 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 be extra. You're doing stuff you don't normally do in practice. You do it in the game. Think by I think by the time, especially when it comes to offenses, offensive lines, by the time they get to week four and week five, I think everybody will be in rhythm and have and have some type of continuity to where the offense is flowing and and, and it's running like a well oiled machine. Ocho, you know we only Mike only had us do two minutes at the end of practice. Yeah, we yeah, we did two minutes at the end of practice too. When you dog tired. That, Bingo, because that that's the same. He says, I know, he says, I know when it's fresh, yeah. you're gonna be thinking. Yeah. He says, I want you talk tired. I want you exhausted. Mm-hmm. That's when I want you to think, yeah. because that's gonna be the difference in the game. Mm-hmm. Can you think under pressure? Yeah. Can you think under fire? Mm-hmm. You know, there's a movie I think Denzel was in the courage under fire. Yeah. The question is, mm-hmm. can you think under fire? Yeah. Like you said, you get tired. Mm-hmm. Lombardi said fatigue will make cowards of us oh, all. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm tired. Can I still think I got hot? Okay, I'm protected. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got chip. I got this. I got that. That's the thing. Guys get tired. They just forget everything. No, bro, it's more to it than that. Hey, hey, that too many hell, boy. When you tired, boy. Oh, hey, listen. When you when you on a uh, 11, 12 play drive, uh, that, that that's a little extensive. Let's say eight or nine play drive. Man, five or six. Okay. Man, you run around, so you got to realize running around. Yeah, ain't like you run the whole but it ain't like you run the whole bunch. Even if you run the shallow cross, they throw you the ball. You gain ten. They throw you the ball again. You gain eight. Oh, you, oh, you, and now you run a now you run a clear route. No, man, I'm, I'm man, blown. That lactic acid them built up on that second yes. that second catch. Shh. Boy, you dare. And then the coach you go talk about. Hey, we gonna start out. You know, we gonna start out in two minutes. Gonna go get them tired. I'm like, hell, we're gonna be tired too. Somebody running, somebody running against them. You make it seem like they don't. <laughs>